स्वामी समर्थ जय जय स्वामी समर्थ श्री स्वामी समर्थ जय जय स्वामी समर्थ महाराज श्री स्वामी समर्थ जय जय स्वामी समर्थ श्री स्वामी समर्थ जय जय स्वामी समर्थ महाराज श्री स्वामी समर्थ जय जय स्वामी समर्थ श्री स्वामी समर्थ जय जय स्वामी समर्थ महाराज श्री स्वामी समर्थ जय जय स्वामी समर्थ ओम साई राम एवरी वन दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ द वीडियो ऑफ स्वामी समर्थ अक्कलकोट महाराज सो टुडे वी आर टेकिंग यू टू द राजे राय मठ इन अक्कलकोट सो वॉट यू आर सींग हेयर इज द राजे राय मठ एंड वी आर हेयर इन अक्कलकोट नियर बाय इज द समाधि ऑफ बेला नाथ बाबा हु केम हेयर इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज Uh, people used to ask are you shirdi sai baba and he used to say no now opposite what you are seeing is raje rai math now how did raje rai math came about uh, when akal kot maharaj was is in his body a king from hyderabad had a health problem uh, doctors couldn't cure him he came to akal kot and after swami's blessings he got well so he constructed a math Uh, so that bhaktas seeking darshan of akal kot swami can stay comfortably and can be cured it became uh, dilapidated over a period of time without maintenance uh, so that is when uh, bela nath baba uh, who samadhi you just saw here uh, he renovated it and maintained it afterwards very importantly uh, when swami samarth और अक्कल कोट महाराज वॉज इन बॉडी महाराज हैज विजिटेड राजे राय मठ एंड गेव हिज पादुकाज हियर सो द मठ हैज हिज पादुकाज गिवन बाय द स्वामी हिमसेल्फ दिस इज बेला नाथ बाबा यू कैन ऑल्सो सी शिरडी साई बाबा स्टैचू हियर शिरडी साई बाबा इज इन अ वेरी डिफरेंट पॉस्चर एज यू कैन सी साई इज अंडर अ ट्री लीनिंग डाउन एंड स्मोकिंग हुक्का very beautiful and very nice picture to look at in the garbha gruha there is a picture of akal kot maharaj his murti and also his padukas here so when the murti is fully decorated or with full alankar the shadow behind looks like vithal maharaj like with hands on his hips so you can see a shadow of vithal uh, baba here the padukas were installed by swami himself you know and uh, raje rai math was constructed by the king so that devotees coming for darshan of swami can stay here and uh, they can be cured uh, they can have uh, uh, darshan nicely so belenath baba renovated it and maintained it it is functional now and one can get rooms also to stay here now look at the shadow here just like pandarpur panduranga vithal uh, this is quite a resemblance uh, to vithal maharaj as you can see here uh, we are now uh, moving outside this is the entrance that you are seeing and looking here this is the entrance to the building that was used by swami so he used this for uh, going into and coming out of math so this is the entrance where he used to enter people say it was specially constructed for him swami was 7 feet tall hence a large entrance is required and uh, so is uh, as you can see here there is a rama temple nearby ram mandir as you can see it's written here uh, this was present during swami's time too and so this is such an old temple swami also has visited here it is an antique temple a definitely a very old one so one must visit this place to have uh, uh, you know the blessings of ram also ram ji so so as we uh, also mentioned in the part 1 video as you may recall we covered the temple and samadhi there in the part 1 video 
in part 2 here we are seeing nearby places and places connected with his devotees with swami's devotees so these places uh, will be important for devotees who are visiting here uh, our friend muthu uh, he read books and identified uh, all these places where one can visit and uh, <clears throat> have the presence felt uh, because all these are very all these are devotee places and you can easily uh, feel the presence of swami here uh, now we are visiting them uh, swami has come uh, to this rama temple uh, swami was 7 feet tall and the rama temple entrance is too narrow for him so this is very very old temple and it's very peaceful here so the banyan tree large tree uh, is also there as you can see in the picture this has many branches aerial roots and prop roots and this place is ideal for parayana and japa so if anybody would like to sit here for some sadhana this is definitely one ideal uh, uh, you know silent place here swami has come here himself so this actually uh, is totally sanctified by his feet and presence this is close to raje rai math uh, very very close to raje rai math we go to uh, now we are going next to um, joshi bua math so this is a, another math that was created it is actually on a walking distance from vatavriksha temple as you just saw so it is walking from there next to vatavriksha mandir is krishna temple as you can see the math is in the lane next to it it is in the walking distance so it's very nearby and people can easily visit so once who are there in the vatavriksha temple you can easily visit this krishna temple uh, joshi bua lived at the same time uh, as swami this math also has uh, padukas you should read swami's charita to know about the padukas so everything is mentioned in the such uh, in the charita swami's charita and uh, charitra and uh, you would get to know more details about it uh, which we are not able to cover in the video because um, uh, every every such paduka installation which has happened at many places of uh, you know the swami's padukas are being installed uh, at many places and every story is there in the charitra so it is totally advised and recommended to read the charitra you know to know more about the places in deep so on the left side uh, are the padukas as you can see and next you see is the swami's murti so anyone can come and worship the padukas here there is no uh, distinction of caste creed rich or poor as we see that in sai baba's temple also all people flock there like uh, you know even the beggars who are there in shirdi they also visit uh, uh, the temple very very often and um, so is uh, swami's temple here anyone can touch the padukas and worship them the way they want them uh, to be worshiped to worship them akal kot swami is uh, mentioned in uh, sai satcharita by baba the padukas in uh, guru sthan in shirdi are swami samarth padukas there are many connections so please read uh, sai satcharita also it is already uh, written that uh, uh, swami samarth's uh, devotee uh, you know was uh, going to visit um, uh, swami samarth uh, akalkot maharaj in akalkot and uh, uh, swami gave darshan and said go to shirdi and there i reside now so those are this is just a reference i am sure um, uh, sai devotees know uh, more and if um, it will be very nice if you can uh, read through the chapter and understand the connection there with the swami and uh, sai baba uh, the best way to know more is to read books uh, so now what you see here is odambar tree odambar is uh, as we know is dattatreya's tree we know where is there is odambar tree there would be dattatreya's presence as we have seen in the earlier videos as well uh, lord dattatreya always uh, you know sits under the odambar or fig tree 
सो वी आर नाउ सीइंग गुरु मंदिर और बलप्पा महाराज मठ बलप्पा वाज अ डिवोटी ऑफ स्वामी समर्थ स्वामी हैड कम हियर ही लाइक दिस प्लेस अ लॉट बलप्पा वाज लाइक हरि सीताराम दीक्षित और काका साहेब दीक्षित Uh, who was a devotee of Sai Baba? So likewise, uh, Balappa was devoted to Sri Swami Samarth, um, who um, who went in Pushpaka Vimana, as mentioned in uh, Sai Satcharitra. So Kaka Sahib Dikshit uh, went in Pushpaka Vimana, as mentioned in Sai Satcharitra. Uh, similarly, ba- Balappa was devoted to. Uh, um, Sri Swami Samarth. Balappa Maharaj was very devoted. and uh, you should definitely visit this mat uh, you know to pay obeisances to uh, the master here we are um, we are showing the floor in the video i'll tell the reason very very shortly why we are doing this here is a stone in the mat this is a very important stone lord parshuram an avatar of vishnu sat on this stone there is a long story behind this some people say he stood on this this is the first thing that you see now if you see here uh, several slabs on the floor are marked with a white outline the slabs with white marks contain swami's footprint there are pictures of uh, akkal kot maharaj uh, balappa maharaj and the two successors also the marked slabs that you see contain swami's footprints that means we can still have uh, his presence totally uh, you know felt here in this place and totally this place is totally sanctified with swami's footprint after 4 years they noticed uh, that swami's uh, footprints manifested on slabs swami uh, comes here in subtle form or sukshma roopa uh, swami liked balappa a lot because balappa was too devoted to swami even 5 years ago the footprints formed so this is very very beautiful to even watch the mat contains several uh, photos of swami here the asan or seat on which he sat on which swami sat several articles used by balappa and his successors so you would see a lot of uh, belongings here those which are very very pure and sanctified and what you see here are very very rare photos too so um beautiful place to visit and see footprints of maharaj as you can see in the video now uh, these are the footprints of maharaj we are going in now uh, what you see here is balappa's maharaj samadhi this is the samadhi the seat or asan on which balappa maharaj sat then asan on which swami samarth sat so we we are showing you both the uh, asan here Uh, balappa maharaj samadhi is inside his successor samadhi is outside so his successor also has left body balappa maharaj samadhi is inside and he was like um, kaka saheb uh, dikshit hari hari ram um, sitaram kaka saheb dikshit uh, like the like dikshit was devoted to baba and so is balappa Uh, to swami maharaj so please read books on uh, swami samarth to know more, more about balappa stone on which lord parshuram sat footprints the books are available in several languages including english and tamil so a gentleman explains everything here he shows footprints he lives here he explains in details so once you visit here you would get to know more and more and um, you can come here touch and worship the padukas Uh, so if you look at the footprint see how big the footprint is because the swami was 7 feet tall so this is real uh, really beautiful and sanctified place see uh, now you see here the baba's picture uh, so the baba's pictures are in several of akkal kot maharaj's temple because both are one so uh, we can't distinguish it between the two <laughs> So we are now going to Hanuman Temple, which is next to Balappa Maharaj's Mat. Uh, this is kind of a private place. Uh, so why we are going there? Um, Akkal Kot Maharaj asked Balappa to go to temple and do tapas, uh, do tapasya for twelve years. So he did tapasya here in a cave-like place under the temple. 
uh, we are now going underneath and see uh, what's there there is a picture of balappa maharaj and there are two uh, there are pictures of swami samarth and swami ramdas also um the energy here is unbeatable there's lot of energy here that you can feel once you are here uh, there is a very it's a very narrow place as you can see and balappa did tapasya for uh, opinence of for about 12 years continuously here uh, there is a hole here for air circulation and uh, this is quite a private place i must say and we need to get permission to get inside it so um but it's a must visit place the energy the the sanctity or the divinity of this place is um it's beautiful it's totally divine so please do visit this place now uh, thank you for uh, hearing this and thank you for connecting with us and we'll catch you in the next leela and we'll keep sharing more and more videos om sai ram